The New York Giants have had the most disappointing season out of all the NFL teams this year. The Giants set at a record of 2-8 and eight and currently hold the second pick in the NFL draft. After just a year ago, when they shocked the league by going to the playoffs and even winning the playoff game against the Vikings. And we ask ourselves, why did this fall off of the Giants happen? And I think it's a couple things. The horrible offensive line, the inconsistency from the defense, and the bad offensive play calling. Obviously, injuries played a role in this as well. But that's not an excuse. So it's time for the Giants to look ahead to the next season and think about what to do next. But thankfully, I have three different ways that can help the Giants bounce back for years to come. Make sure you stick around to the end because the last one is crazy. Number one, draft Ohio State wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr., the standout wide receiver at The Ohio State University, is the consensus best receiver in the upcoming NFL draft. And any team that isn't in the need of a QB should not pass up on him. This season, Marvin Harrison has 59 receptions, 1,063 yards, 12 touchdowns in counting, and averages 18 yards per catch. Last season was exceptional as well. 77 receptions, 1,263 yards, and 14 touchdowns. He's a problem for defenses every single week. Here's why the Giants should take him. The Giants have lacked having a number one receiver ever since trading Odell Beckham Jr. to the Cleveland Browns. Daniel Jones never had the opportunity to play with OBJ. And the best receiver he's played with is Darius Slayton. Last season, Daniel Jones started to come into his own, having a very impressive season with the very limited weapons on offense. Most young QBs in the league don't take a leap until they are paired with a real number one receiver. Some examples of that are Jalen Hurts with AJ Brown, Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase, Tua Tagovailoa with Tyree Kill, Josh Allen with Stephon Diggs. All of these guys' games went to different levels when they got to play alongside elite talent at the wide receiver position. So I think if you gave Daniel Jones a guy like Marvin Harrison, the Giants' offense would jump to new heights. If you re-sign Saquon Barkley, the Giants will have two very good weapons on offense. And yes, I'm banking on the fact that Marvin Harrison Jr. will be a great receiver, but I think he definitely will be. The Giants can have a whole new look offensively with Harrison there. Also, when the Bills traded Stephon Diggs, Brian Dable was there in Buffalo as the offensive coordinator, and we saw what happened to Josh Allen when he got Diggs. This game elevated to extreme levels. So I think Dable could really make these two become an elite duo, furthering the Giants' future and making them a playoff team once again. Number two, draft Caleb Williams. The reigning Heisman, Caleb Williams, is an exceptional talent at the quarterback position. One of the most impressive QBs we've seen come out of college in years. In three years as a starter for the Trojans, Williams has incredible stats. 66.6% .6 completion percentage, 9,698 yards, 92 touchdowns, and only 13 interceptions. Watching him play is very fun. His escapability, his deep throw power, and his precision is incredible. Caleb has made it clear that the Giants are one of the five teams that he'd be willing to play for, and the Giants out of the five teams he mentioned are the only team that will be in a position to draft him. Drafting Caleb Williams, the Giants get a fresh start at the quarterback position. I believe Brian Dable will be able to elevate Williams very quickly in the NFL. You might say, well, the Giants offensive line is very bad, and that's why Daniel Jones has no success. But Caleb Williams is already playing with the bad offensive line at USC and it seems he does pretty well considering the poor play of his offensive line. Also, some QBs in the league are so good that they don't even need to have a great offensive line to have success. If you're an amazing talent, you could still manage. Obviously, you're asking a lot of Williams by putting him in a situation, but I think he can prevail. By drafting Williams, it makes the Giants fans have mixed emotions. The good side being, you have a quarterback that has an insane ceiling in the NFL and has the ability to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But the bad side is, you have to start all over again with the QB and hope it works out. So which leads me to my next option. What if the Giants trade for a QB who is already elite? Number three, trade for Josh Allen. Yes, I know this probably sounds crazy, but hear me out. The Bills are currently having an underwhelming season at five and five, and they have a tough schedule for the remainder of the year. If the Bills finish the season out of the playoff picture, then I think the Bills are gonna have to rethink some things. They will probably fire Sean McDermott, and if Josh Allen continues his poor play, we might see some changes. If the Giants end up with the number one pick, maybe the Giants look to trade that pick away. I think they should trade it to Buffalo for Josh Allen. Give Buffalo the ability to take any QB they want in the draft to start fresh, and the Giants get an elite level quarterback. Again, I'm going to say we saw the success with Brian Dable and Josh Allen. When Allen had Dable, the Bills were a much different team. They went to the conference championship in a divisional round in Dable's final two seasons in Buffalo. In both those games, they were beaten by the best team in the NFL, the Kansas City Chiefs. Both games were nail-biting games that could have been won. Having Josh Allen would be crazy. The Giants' offense becomes completely reshaped by adding Allen. The passing offense would look completely different. I think Allen could help the development of Jalen Hyatt, 
making him a very solid receiver. And also, I think the Giants would attack free agents looking to add more talent at the wide receiver position. Maybe you bring a guy in like Tyler Boyd from Cincinnati. Boyd has been a great receiver for Cincinnati. As a third option receiver, he puts up pretty good numbers, and if you make him a number one receiver with Josh Allen as his quarterback, I think he would have a very impressive season. The Giants also still have Darren Waller, and we know Josh Allen likes to throw to his tight ends, and Waller will become the best tight end he's ever played with. I think this is the best thing the Giants could do for the future, but it also is the biggest question mark. The chances of Buffalo trading Allen are low, but you never know. Let me know in the comments what you think the Giants should do this offseason, and make sure you check out my video on how the Madden curse is haunting Josh Allen. See you next time. Peace.